Okay, George, let's turn to your biofeedback program. What is it called and exactly what does it do? Well, it's called Compute. It's put out by the Thought Technology Company. Mm -hmm. And basically, a small uh, port, that is, uh, like a bio port, is put into the computer. This uh -huh. is the whole interface. I put my fingers on two electrodes, which allow me to measure the electrical changes on the surface of my skin. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that measures my fight or flight reaction, my stress level. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I can look at my reactivity to uh, change of various kinds. For example, if I have tense muscles, I may also have internal tension. Or I can look at uh, various kinds of words that may trigger off feelings, okay. so I can word association. What part of the program this, do you have up here? Well, this is a uh, calm patterns program, and you s you'll see a hexagon um, that will change as I get more relaxed. And uh, in fact, um, I can turn on the audio and allow it to change in color or size uh, the more I relax or the more tense I get. So you try to learn how to relax by trying to make that pattern get larger and larger. That's right. Mm -hmm. okay. That's right. Mm -hmm. And various kinds of programs like this allow you to see your change. Uh, I'm going to take a look at a bar graph uh -huh. now that measures the change. Mm -hmm. And um, that bar graph will look at my stress level over time. So while, while we look at the bar graph, uh, let's see, let's use calm bar. There we go. No. Mm -hmm. And um, all of the biofeedback programs are for the purpose of internalizing the learning. For example, mm -hmm. you see your reaction on a screen, and once you know what that reaction is and how to lower it, you then have internal awareness, and you can reduce okay, your show, stress show level. Okay, show us what's going on here. This uh, bar graph allows me to see what I'm doing to change. For example, right now I'm getting more aroused as I wondered how it was going to measure here. And if I were to get a little relaxed, and let's see if I can do that during the program. There we go. I'm actually using what skills I've learned to try to bring my relaxation down. And mm. if you can see it at all on the screen, it's yeah. uh, reducing. That's great. Oh, good. <laughs> You're doing well. well okay, what okay. about Compre? You mentioned that. Now, other the Compre program is uh, a little game. And, you know, we all like uh, video games, or at least some of us do. And um, these games allow you to learn how to relax in the face of a stressor. Uh -huh. uh, one stress is uh, doing some performance task. And so here's a performance task in which I'm driving a car and hopefully missing the wall and the potholes, at the same time as I relax, I'm speeding up the car. The speed is a function of your relaxation. That's right. Okay, the so you're hitting the keyboard, you're just steering it with your left hand. Right, I'm steering it with one hand, and as I relax, the car is going faster and faster, allowing me to then use this control to speed up mm -hmm. my So school. you really have to learn how to relax in this very tense situation of playing <laughs> right. this video game. That's right. All right, that's great. George Betty, thank you very much. That's our look at health and fitness software. We'll be back in just a minute with this week's computer news.